Hello everyone, Petro here again with another video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can play Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis on PC. The game is going to be released tomorrow, September 7, for only mobile. And in this video I'm going to show you how you guys can play on PC as your preference. Uh, it's very simple, it's worked fine so far. Uh, here is playing the game because I have the I was invited for the open the, the private beta of course the beta and I play that that's why the game is rolling for me but if you was not part of the beta probably gonna be able to play only tomorrow but if you go to download the game after all the tutorial you can pre-download the game it was announced today also apparently the game you're gonna receive uh, chapters every month and you're gonna connect to Final Fantasy 7 remake rebirth that's coming next year so yep that's how um, it's just like a little uh, introduction about the game. So now let's get started how you can play Final Fantasy Ever Crisis on PC. Okay, first step is to download the BlueStack 5. I will leave the link in the description below. Go in See All Versions and download the BlueStack 5. Once you complete the download, click to open and start the installation. Click Install Now and wait for the process to be completed. It take a couple minutes since we'll be playing on PC. I suggest you to install on your SSD in case you have one. It will help the game to run faster and smoother. Once the installation is completed, this page will appear. Go to your desktop and open this launcher, BlueStack Smooth Stance Manager. Once you launch the Stance Manager, you will have to create a new profile. Go all the way in the bottom left side where it says Instance and click. Now click in Fresh Instance, the first option. Now you have to choose the Android version 64 bits and click Next. Now in this box we will follow. CPU cores, select High 4 cores. And Memory Allocation, select 4 GB. In Performance mode you have to change to High Performance. After that click in Download. It will take a couple seconds here to download your profile, and also you can rename your profile as well if you prefer. Once the profile is created, go ahead and click in Start. The BlueStack will close and restart automatically. Once the BlueStack reopens, you will go to the bottom right in Settings. Here in settings, you don't need to change nothing in performance because we did it already. Go ahead and select graphics. Here you select compatibility and select DirectX. After that, click on save change and right after restart now. The BlueStack will reopen again with the settings save. Go back to the settings and now in display, here you have to select the same resolution for the monitor you are using to play. Once you select, save change and one more time, restart now. The blue stack will close and restart automatically. Now one more time, go to settings and select phone. Now just make sure the OnePlus 5 is selected. If it is, you don't need to change anything here. Now go back and click in the box System Apps and open the Play Store. Once you open, log in with the account you want to use to download the game. Once you log in your account, go to the search bar in the top of the page and search for the game. Once you found the game, click install on the top right. After the game is being installed, you will have the icon of the game at your BlueStacks profile and also on your desktop. Now just double click the icon of the game and here we go. Now it's just play and enjoy another adventure of Final Fantasy. If this video was helpful, drop the like to help the video and subscribe to receive more content and help the channel grow. Thank you very much for your company and I see you in the next video. Peace.